this is the real Tom Rose, and we're dealing with bifactorableness. And this can be a bit of a doozy, so what I like to do here is instead of trying to come up with a complicated equation, let's just plug in a couple of things and see what happens, see if we can find a pattern. Um, now, I know that 10 times 10 is equal to 100, and we know that 100 is the ceiling. So 10 times 11 will be 110, that's too big. 9 times 10 is 90, and that works. So let's make a list of all the numbers that work, and I think it's going to be a pretty short list based on where we've started here. So if we end up with 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, I think that's going to be it because the, the numbers that we multiply these by can't go down to zero because zero would be would be zero and we're asked for positive integers so let's just count these and see how many there are there's one two three four five six seven eight nine of them so nine will be your answer